everyone, I'm Smita Katia, blog at SmilingColors.com and a happy new year to you. So on Instagram, I'm known as the shiny nest and I post lettering videos almost daily. And a lot of you have been requesting that I do a basic video, something like hand lettering for beginners. So in today's video, we're going to touch the basics. I started lettering almost two years ago when I got my first set of tombos and I will show you my first lettering sketchbook today. I'll show you where I started and how it was not perfect at all. I'll show you all my mistakes so that you can learn from them. And I'll also share tips on how I improved and how you can definitely improve. So in my blog post, I will have a free printable for alphabets in uppercase and lowercase. I'll also share resources where you can get much more worksheets. A lot of them are free, some of them are paid, but well worth the money. So to start your hand lettering journey, you need four basic things. You need a pen, you need a good brush pen, you need paper, you need a good smooth quality paper. I'll tell you which ones I like in the video. You'll also need patience because in the beginning, lettering does not actually look the way you want it to look. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. It looks easy from far and once you get the hang of it, it's so much fun, but there's a learning curve in between. Four, you need, a, you need to practice. You need to practice a lot in the beginning and as you get better and better, you can practice lesser and lesser and enjoy it more. So let's get started with today's tutorial and see what we can learn. Before we go looking into my sketchbook, let's first talk about brush lettering. So what you see here, this is brush lettering where the down strokes of your letter is thicker and the up strokes are thinner. This dramatic contrast between the thick and thin is what brush lettering is all about. So I will be sharing these two printables on my blog. So you can download them, trace over them, and practice at home. But let's just first talk about brush pens in general. So this is a brush pen. This is the black color one. It's N15. And initially I have the Tombow Jewel brush pen set, the bright color set. This comes with 10 colors and I love these colors. These colors are even today my go-to. But let me start with the black because it's so much easier to see on video. So a brush pen is basically a pen with a brush tip. Think like a paintbrush. What this brush tip allows us to do is, if I use just the tip, I can draw thin lines. But if I use the entire width of the brush tip, I can give nice thick downstrokes. So this is why we're able to do the thin upstrokes and thick downstrokes. And that is what brush lettering is basically all about. So I'm gonna show you what works for me. I kind of rest my wrist onto the paper and I hold my pen parallel almost to the paper. This way I'm able to get nice thick downstrokes. For my upstrokes, I tend to lift my wrist a little bit and turn it. That way I'm using just the point of the marker and I can get thinner upstrokes. For me, in the beginning especially, I, fit, I figured out the downstrokes very easily. But the upstrokes, it takes more practice because you want them to be evenly thin. So with that, let's talk paper. With your brush pens, the main thing you need to do brush lettering is to maintain that sharp pointy tip. So if you use paper that is smooth, your brush pen will glide easily and you're able to achieve those thick down strokes and you're not fraying your pointy tip. If you use regular inexpensive copy paper, your brush tips will get frayed much easier and that's not something you want to do. So that's the first lesson I learned. I mean, literally, if you run your hand on top of the paper, it should feel smooth to the touch. If it isn't that smooth, your pens are gonna get frayed much easier. Okay, now as promised, let's take a look into my first sketchbook. This is actually one of the first sketchbooks that I invested a lot of money to buy. And I was in love with the sketchbook because I was basically doing line art. I would do just black pen lines on paper and this book is great for that. But when I got my first set of Tombows and everybody were lettering, I started lettering and my lettering did not have any of those thick and thin variations. I wouldn't even know how to move the marker. And in the beginning, it's really frustrating because your wrist has to get used to the movement. And you can see right away that 
I was trying to blend colors and I wasn't getting it. So I worked some more, I tried some more, and I, after a point I just let it go. I'm like, I'm not going to try it, I'm just going to blend colors and write colorful words. I was trying to blend colors. And then I went to fog calligraphy. What fog calligraphy is, you just use the marker tip and you kind of color in and make these look thicker. And I will make a blog post about that soon. But today's is about brush calligraphy, so I'll just show you quickly here. So at this point, I started practicing on copy paper, like the inexpensive paper that I would buy for my printer. And then actually, I was able to get nice thick strokes. So I came back to my sketchbook and I kind of got it but it was very hard because the paper is very rough. This paper is not meant for brush lettering because the paper is very rough. And once I learned that, I was able to take my brush lettering to so many new levels. So what I did next was I bought myself a mixed media book. This is by Canson and I love the size. It's a smaller size sketchbook. And the mixed media is good for all kind of art. Especially if it says marker on the sketchbook, you are good to go. So you can touch the paper. It's a little rough, but the pen still moves because you can see it has a smooth finish. So once I got this one, I started doing my lettering and I, you can see my upstrokes were so much more dramatic and thin because this was a great book for me to practice and learn on. And I just went on to fill this book with so many quotes. This is one of my favorite sketchbooks of all time. There's so many brush lettering things in here. So. What that goes to say is that you need good paper along with your good pens. I, of course, would recommend the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. Invest in one set of 10 colors, that's all you need. And what you really should do is pick the least favorite of your colors and start practicing with just that one color. Don't spoil the other colors. Just pick like the purple's the least favorite. Use that again and again and again until you're comfortable practicing. So, I actually bought another one of the Excels because I like this sketchbook a lot. But another game changer for me were these Rodeo notepads. So I have two of them here. I have the blank and the dot pad. Rodeo pads are marker pads. And they're almost like tracing paper. They have like a wax paper finish, literally. And they are so smooth to the touch. They're just beautiful. So once I got this, I, I really understood what people were saying when they tell me that you need to have the right paper because this paper is a game changer. If you letter on this paper, you will never go back to anything else because this paper is so smooth. It's like the luxurious paper ever and you will enjoy brush lettering. I haven't really used this one. This is the dot pad. Um, this one has tiny, tiny dots on it, which would be great for a beginner, especially if you're practicing drills and such. So when you start off, I would say you just buy a good quality printer paper. And you just want something with a smooth finish and I will link to some of my favorites in my blog post. Okay, now all said and done, how do you start? So what I would suggest is you go onto my blog and I have links to some of my favorite worksheets. This one is by Tombow and you just print them onto nice printer paper. The paper has to be smooth and you can print a number of copies of these and practice daily. That's how you start. So this is a beautiful worksheet to just begin with. All you need to do is trace over the lines, just so. And then you do the upstrokes. And then you practice the up to down transitions. Just so. And once you're comfortable doing all of these transitions, then you can start doing alphabets. So this is an alphabet. I happened to print it on the same sheet by mistake. But what you can do is just trace over the letters. And you can immediately see that the transition from the thin to thick, that takes some more practice. It's not that simple. And the more you practice, the more comfortable you're going to get. So just practice more. Post your practice. Don't worry about how everybody else is doing. So my biggest advice to you is start where you are and continue practicing. So when you have worksheets like these, what you can do is, and what I have designed these for in mind is, you can put it underneath a transparent paper. You can use either a Rodia notepad or, or a Canson marker pad, or you can even use simple tracing paper. Go over the lines. 
just so and practice again and again now if you were in a country where none of these supplies are available here are a couple of hints for you so I start off any sketchbook I have with some fog calligraphy just pen lines and the, and that's how I figure out how the paper is how the ink moves on the paper and then I try doing a little bit of brush lettering because the paper is smooth I was able to do it so find any sketchbook you have and I'm telling you just run your hand on top of the paper see if the paper is smooth and go from there the smoother the paper the better your brush lettering will be so I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something from the tutorial and are ready to start your lettering journey so in my next video I'll do a brush paint tutorial and show you how you can take these basic skills that you've been learning and let through a quote or a phrase so stay tuned for that also leave me a comment below letting me know if you like this basic series or if there's something else that you want to see on my channel please hit the like button on this video and share it with your friends thank you very much and happy crafting